be more than enough for me. Welcome home. Did you have a good trip? Mitchell? Did you have a good trip? Good. Yay. Thank you, Jesus. I like awesome trips. Yeah, we're awesome trips are awesome. Yes, ma'am. Well, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. Let's see where we want to start tonight. Thank you, Lord. Uh huh. I think we're going to start in Psalm 103 tonight. So if you would put that up in the in the uh, King James. We're going to do King James. And is Avery here tonight on his birthday? Is he? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Avery. Happy birthday to you. Woo! And we sang it nice because we're already on here. <laughs> we'll do you the real kind afterwards, okay? Psalm 103. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You are so, so, so good. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord, with all of our soul and all that is within us. We bless your holy name. We bless you, Lord, with our soul, and we forget not any of your benefits. You have forgiven us of all of our iniquities. You have healed us of all our diseases. You have redeemed our life from destruction. You brought us out of the slave market of sin. You bought us out from the curse. You bought us out from destruction. You have crowned us with loving kindness and tender mercies. You satisfy our mouth with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. I thank you, Lord, that you execute righteousness and justice for all that are oppressed. You made your way known to Moses and your acts to the children of Israel. Oh, but you've made them known unto me. Oh, Lord, you're merciful, you're gracious, you're slow to anger, and you are plenteous in mercy. I want to thank you. I want to thank you that you've not dealt with us after our sins. Uh-uh. You didn't reward us according to our iniquities. Uh-uh. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is your mercy towards us that reverence and stand in awe of you. As far as the east is from the west, so far have you removed our transgressions from us. And like a father pities his children, so have you pitied us that reverence and stand in awe of you. You know our frame. You know that we're a pile of dirt. As for us, our days are as grass, a flower of the field, and the wind passes over over it and it's gone and the place thereof doesn't even know it's there anymore but your mercy Lord your your acts of compassion towards us are from everlasting to everlasting upon us because we reverence you and stand in awe of you and your righteousness your right way of doing and being unto our children's children Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your great favor towards us. Thank you for your acts of mercy. Thank you for your acts of compassion towards us, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord. You said 
that you would execute justice for those that are oppressed. So, Father, we offer up these court cases. People who have been oppressed by the enemy. No, no, no. I want to thank you, Lord. The enemy has no right to steal from them, no right to stop them, no right. But you will make a way in the wilderness where there is no way. You will take them by the hand and lead them right through to the promised land. You're a righteous judge, Lord. You judge what's right because it's right. Yes, sir, all three of them. We left all three of them up to you. Yes, sir, four, four. I want to thank you that that fourth one is over. Done, settled, period, written off. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Expunged. Expunged. Because you've gone before them to make every crooked way straight. Oh, yes, sir. Uh huh. We're busting up that ground. We're busting it up. We're busting it up. We're making a path. I'm busting up a path. Of old, untrodden. Yes, sir. Taking us into new places, new places, new places. Places never were. Walked before. I'm in Angola, Poshamba, and Galapanda, Daddy Hunter, a coco, a poca, la mara dianda. I'm yeah, yes, sir. You're our harbinger. You're you're the one who goes before us, and you yeah, yucky debo. You fill up the valleys and you knock down the mountains. Igola moshonda. You make the way straight. Alaki and de solo koshonda la kiama. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We turned a corner. Two weeks ago, we turned a corner. But our nation turned a corner. Our church turned a corner. The church turned a corner. Your people turned a corner. And I want to thank you, Lord. Your steps, as the steps of the righteous man and woman are ordered of the Lord. And you always lead us in the wide paths, the well-lit paths. You make them well known. Because you gave us eyes to see. Our, our, uh, uh, yeah. our enemy won't see him. Because he doesn't see him. He can't see in the spirit. No, no, no. But on that path, there's supernatural supply. Supernatural favor. Oh, yes, sir. The rebirth of things. There's a rebirth. Things that seem to have died. Oh, no. They're coming back. And they're coming back stronger than they ever were before. 
la cote la morte de mehe elle elle mené cou le bon cou le bon car yes i'm gonna mo con que la bouche chante la lienda yeah you just thought the healing revival had had died off i lo go you haven't seen anything yet i be on go lo sola bon con que le basha you think the brush harbor meetings were something i la qui bon cou la bon con que you wait and see you wait and see i la qui la qui ando de cushion do de la pahanda open your eyes open your spiritual eyes to see ali good a cushion do de con go la pochan de la liette de bo sol a poca i'm a nan de bo shan and the multitudes the multitudes the multitudes ali can jan jela bo who been waiting waiting and waiting and waiting ali kia to de monjo saying is there really a god ali con go does he really exist ali can go get a pia but they're going to see me ali cushion do de pa kala mando they're going to see me in power they're going to see me in might i'm going to go and they're going to see me in you and through you ala ki la ki de bo ko la po da na ma for just as i said ala ki ben do lo ko sha i be on go la pa je le pi an do that i would ha lia da that the works that i did you would do also but even greater works ha ki le bo po sha la ba da cuz i was only one person ha li ka la ku o ju di an and i only had 12 helpers ala ko go la bo sha na ma na ki le bi an now i have a whole body ala go lo se la bi an do cross in this whole earth ala ka ji le bi o ke la ma di and the whole kid that they paid those that are willing ala koko and obedient ala kama and they surely will eat the good of the land they surely will eat the good of the land ala kile kidyo ndora poka la baba nasa they truly will ha yes sir they'll get out of the boat ila ki kude boshanda la kiamba they'll get out of the boat and walk on the water ala kila koko la bosha they'll go where mo no man has gone ala kan gile bo jo jela bo do fear won't stop them no 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 ila kila kuyo they pull that up la man de la lieto but they'll be empowered 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 by your spirit ala la de nena golo coso la monange de boshan de la kiama and they'll go into the uh, yeah they'll go into the white house and they'll go into the senate and they'll go into the congress and they'll go into the supreme court and they'll go into the mayor's offices and the governor's offices akola boshan de ke and the state legislatures and the county legislatures ala kon and get up and they'll rise up and boldly declare your word they'll boldly declare what's right now they go go la bosh and la go go la man they will not be intimidated they will not be quiet they will not be silent but they will mighty akula pa shout your name from the rooftops ali good is your that akula bo kala ba cuz at the name of jesus at the name of jesus at the name of jesus every knee will bow every tongue will confess jesus is lord ala Kola posha over every situation. Abu kola mangela bosola poho stela bada. La manande de kera biote de kosa para mashas. Lo jela begini meriala la bara kola basi le poho. La manande de kola bo kola bo kena mala biashrama. Oh, kola bo dama de de ne bo don. Yes, sir. In the churches, the churches. Alengeli iji ibo kola baha. Laman dan da Yes sir those who thought Agianga that healing had passed away Ala gana go get la moko ha just like that little man that little preacher Hakoka who was standing up preaching Ali and that you didn't heal anymore Ala kan go de po and he was healed Ha he le begini under a calabas sanchile boto Abe don go la boca those that don't believe in tongues lord don't those that don't believe I get get la boca and stand it up in their pulpits on Sunday preaching I get la boca la boca and get up yanto that they don't do that anymore and it got that passed away and the next thing you know they'll be just oh la boca and back que le bele do lo si la ba que le boto la and the whole church of fall out under the power lang get it get to them okay hey get them on go la boss and the badge abedola bogan get it be to la bogan and the glory the glory the glory the glory the glory will fill the house 
All the glory will fill the house so they can't even stand to minister. I get a bogong, get them on the manifested presence of God, the manifested power of God, and the manifested goodness of God. Oh, like how the machine be ongoing, just like you showed me so many years ago. Lord, the glory, aki, ebedendo, like lava flowing through the streets of Chattanooga. Flowing like lava through the streets of Chattanooga. La manangole babara si get a bocola boshanda. Ha, ele be do do la menenga. La mandenga ngele ki akola bocola pohota. And Jesus being a household word. Ala kaliaka in this region. Ala ke le berande la cola. I want to thank you, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The encampments have been set around the city. <laughs> the encampments have been set around this region. There is encampments. Those that know how to pray, Lord, those that know how to release, your perfect will into the earth, in order for your angels to get busy and bring it to pass. Oh, I see it, Lord. That's your body. Oh, that mighty giant, that mighty giant rising up. I lick a king gone putting the devil under their feet. Lay can get Lia Shede Boko la Ponta la Dianta de Bosola Pocala. Lay Benende de Kitty beyond the Lacola Bosama Baja. Yo just stole a Pocama, but I hunt de Lepa. Now, Father, I pray for that person who's got that pain in their chest. Alia is on your right side of your chest. Akala Manki Ebodosa. Laba Eleke Eleba do Mabacha Cheneki Endas. Oh, breathe it in. Breathe in. Breathe in that healing power. Breathe it in right now. Ilaki dengolo si banga jeshte la pa. Oh, bombanga la banga la banda de adere boko kile bachi ando de akogiemba. Eh, eh, ele biosyota. I want to thank you for it, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord. Healing every bit of heart disease. Ah, okay, every heart attack. Every, every clogged artery, every clogged vein, every valve problem. All our lungs and lungs, all the breath of life, the breath of life. Breathe in the breath of life. I want to thank you, Father. I want to thank you, Father. Anything going on with the intestines, Lord? Stomach issues. Yeah, lupus. Oh, lupus. We curse you from the root. Uh-huh. We curse you from the root in Jesus' name. Cancer, we curse you from the root in Jesus' name. Huh. I speak to the blood. I speak to the blood. And I declare the blood of Jesus goes through your veins. The cleansing power of the Holy Ghost. Flowing through your veins. The cleansing blood. Flood of the blood. The cleansing flood of the blood. Going through every vein. Every artery. Every organ. Father. 
Father, we cover everything, including the head. I have head to toe, head to toe, top to bottom, front to back. There is no part. There is no part that's not covered by your insurance policy. I look on your insurance policy is 1 Peter 2.24. You declared that by your stripes, our bodies were made whole. You declared that you, Aguila Congo, bore all our sin, all our sickness, all our disease in your body. And if it's in your body, Aliangola Bonia, and you left that in hell, then I declare that there is no way it can be in our body. That includes skin problems, hearing problems, eye problems. Aguila Congo, we declare 2020 vision. Yeah, even, yeah, even that. Yeah. I want to thank you, Lord, for your angels, 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 encamped round about all of our servicemen. Uh-huh. Encamped round about all of our elected officials. Encamped round about all of our children. Encamped round about all of our first responders. Encamped around our border agents. Encamped on our border. And I thank you, Father. Oh, I thank you, Lord. We are delivered from the violent man. I want to thank you, Lord, that your angelic protection is around us, lest we should even fall and dash our foot against a stone. Oh, yes, sir. We pray for Marcy today, Lord. We pray for Jerry. And I want to thank you, Lord. You just said, you said none of the bones are broken. None of them. So we just want to thank you for wholeness, soundness, nothing missing, nothing broken in Jesus' name. We thank you for it, Lord. We thank you for it, Jesus. We thank you for it, Lord. Somebody's looking for a job. And it would be the perfect job at the perfect time that will provide the perfect stretch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's going to stretch. It'll be a stretch. But it's a good stretch. It's a stretch up. It's a stretch out. But there will be great satisfaction. As you're stretched, as you're stretched, there will be great satisfaction. Challenge, yes. But press, press, press for the prize of the high calling. Press. Aquila gula monjele bi engele ki ando. Londo lo coso la podado coche temba la mana. Lengere gidi di andi di kera podo ki amba para siki. Ola cola bo ki amba banjele bi amba para ki anda ha. Yes, sir. 
You're right. I look, if we never go through anything, how can you console us? Why would we need consolation if we never go through anything? Why would we need to be called overcomers if we never have to overcome anything? No, no, no. We're called to prove it. We're called to prove it. We're called to be overcomers. We're called to put things under our feet. We're, we're called to be winners. We're, put, we're called to put them under our feet and keep them there. Now, Father, we pray for Akukula Pancha Liakede Pohoda. We pray for Pastors Rich and Carrie as they celebrate their upcoming church anniversary, and we thank you, Lord, for their faithfulness. We thank you, Lord, for upholding them with the right hand of your righteousness. I want to thank you, Lord, that this will be their year of expansion. This will be their year of growth. This there this will be their year of doubling. Aliki bo bosh dela panda. Aliki loku elepia double in everything they do. Double in everything they say. Alakanja the double. Aloku bom bela manda. Aliki we pray for Lori and Blake. Ilaki angela bosa says they aki angangula stretch out. They're stretching out their stakes. I want to thank you, Lord, that that building will be the perfect building. I want to thank you, Lord, that there will be growth. I want to thank you, Lord, that that building will stand out to everybody that goes by. And they're going to have to stop and say, what in the world's going on in there? I got to know what's going on in there, just like you did to Kareen and Charles and Alan and I when we passed that little church. Oh, my, what's going on in there? We got to find out what's going on in there and boy did we I want to thank you Lord I want to thank you Lord I want to thank you Lord thank you for blessing Tom and Tiki thank you for blessing Mac and Beverly thank you for blessing Perry and Julia thank you Lord thank you Lord I look over Anthony and Glenda Bailey I look over thank you for Tim and Kim Reed I want to thank you, Lord. I look over the vires. I look over the vires. Yes, Lord. Thank you for that. <laughs> thank you for that. I appreciate that. And we thank you, Lord, for our, our title deed to 377 Direct Connection Drive in the whole street. Thank you for three, for First Samuel 7, 10, 2 Samuel 7, 10. You declared that is our title deed, that, we will, that you appointed us a place of our own that we would move no more. So we thank you, Lord, for the whole street. We thank you for River City. Ha, it is a, it's a city flowing with the Holy Ghost and power. I want to thank you from the highway <laughs> all the way down to our credit union, our investment union down on the end. <laughs> and for every part of the ministry, thank you for 24-7, 365 church. Thank you for signs and wonders and miracles. Thank you that your glory covers I-75 and every person covers this whole region, but every person that goes up and down I-75 is touched and changed by the power of the Holy Ghost, even if they don't know it. <laughs> but they will. So we just want to thank you, Lord. The best is yet to come. 2019 is our year of abundant harvest. I want to thank you, Lord. We have a mighty, we have a mighty heavenly account, and we pull from it now. We thank you for our 3.33. We thank you for our 1.1 and all the other amounts. We just want to thank you, Lord. We flow. We flow. We flow. All of our needs are met, and we have an abundance. Just like you said in 2 Corinthians 9, 8, you've made all grace abound towards us, all of it. That we are always having all sufficiency in all things abound to every good work. And oh, how we thank you, because there's a lot of good works that need us. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Second Timothy. Chapter 1, verse 7. I said I've got about 15 things going off in my brain right now. So no telling where we'll end up. I think y'all know this one, right? Let's read it together. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen. And he goes on, he says, Be thou therefore, be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me as prisoner, but be but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God who has saved us. I'm saved. And I am called with a holy calling. Are you? We are saved with a holy calling. Not according to our works, but according to his own purpose, according to his own grace, his own supply, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. So, I've not been given a spirit of fear, excuse me, but power. And that word power, sorry, I'm going to have to blow my nose. Necessary. Power, dunamis, miracle working power. Yeah. He said right behind him, Alan, the devil cannot get away with what God did to you. That's right. He said the devil can't get away from what he tried. And he can't get away with what he tried to do to either of any of you. Right. Do you hear that? Right. He cannot get away as long as you demand it. He cannot get away with what he's tried to do to you or what he has done to you in the past. A couple of scriptures. All right, so he said, I've given you power. Luke 10 19. Luke 10 19. Let's read it together. Behold. Behold. Meaning, look here. Look here. Take hold of it. Yeah, put your attention right here. Ready? I give you power. Dunamis, miracle working power. To tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means harm you. We got to get that down in our heart. He's telling you that, that that's been given to you, but you're to use it. Yeah, we have to use it. Somebody else. We have to use it for ourselves and others. That's exactly right. Did you hear that, what he said? It's on you. The authority, you have the authority and you have the miracle working power. So you have the authority to use his name. You have the authority to plead his blood, which his blood defeated everything. His name defeated everything. Put everything under our feet. And now he's, he's expecting us to use it. That word in means you know it. You know it. 
and you're using it. You know, it, it's, it goes back to that, that illustration that I use all the time. If your daddy left you a million dollars and you went to the reading of the will and you knew your dad had left you a million dollars and you knew what you had to have to go and claim it and you knew where to go to claim it and you took all of the information that you had to have, all your IDs and the, the, the will and the account numbers and everything and you went to the bank and they said, sorry, you can't have it. If you left there without your money, you're a nut. You're a nut. I'd call, the, I'd call the president. I'm not leaving without what my daddy died for me to have. Why are we leaving so much on the table? Our daddy, his name is Jesus. He's our brother. He's our father. He's our mother. He's, he's everything. He died for us to have all of this. And yet we're leaving so much on the table. Joshua 1 and 8. You ain't got it in you. You know it, but you ain't got it in you. It's, it's here to become you. How do we live? We live by faith. How does faith come? Hearing what? How does fear come? Same way. But it's what you're meditating. What are you meditating? Joshua 1 and 8. This book of God's word shall not depart out of your mouth. And that don't mean you don't say it. No. It means that you meditate in it. You keep it in your heart. You keep it in your eyes. You keep it in your ears. You keep it down in your heart. It should be a continual thing. You should be talking it. You should be reading it. You should be hearing it all day long, every day. Why? So that it could incubate, incubate in your heart. Mm -hmm. Until you can see yourself in it. John 1, 4 said that the life is in the light of the word. The life is in the light of the word. And there's no life until you know it lit up. Yeah. Until it illuminates. Yeah. So what he's doing is he's meditating, 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 meditating talking it, walking it. And that's what we do. We talk it and we walk it. We talk it and we walk it. We talk it and we walk it. And I'm just telling you, if you won't give up and you won't give in and you won't back up and you won't turn to the left and won't turn to the right, there is a day when it will manifest. Yes, you can. He don't care about you. He don't care about you. He hates you. God loves you. That's right. And Satan's using your neighbor Wow. Which, okay, thank you, because you just declared which way we were going with this. All right. And then we know that 1 Corinthians 13, 8. 1 Corinthians 13, 8. 1 Corinthians 13, 8. Let's read this. Charity, which is another word for love, never fails. That's all we need. Love never fails. Fail. Say it one more time. No, agape. Agape. God kind of love. Highest form of love. It never quits. thing is, if you love somebody, don't you tell other people about it? You give your life up for them. You know, people look at us and think that we're so different. No, we're really not different. I'm no different than you. 
You say, well, yeah, but you're, but a, you're a preacher. No, you're a preacher. I might be in the fivefold ministry, and you might not be, but you're still called to preach. You're, I'm not like you. Yes, sure. Sean's been preaching it. He's been preaching about, go ye into all the world. Preach. Just tell him. What did Jesus do for you? You say, well, I don't know what to say. What has Jesus done for you? Just get testify. This is what Jesus did for me. And if he did it for me, guess what? He'll do it for you. And he's, I, I love what you told somebody. I don't remember who, but you told somebody, if you can find it anywhere in this book that Jesus did something for somebody else, he will do it for you. That's all you got to do is find it. He's not a respecter of persons. He's a respecter of those who will believe him. Look at one more time. Matthew 6, 22. So we've not been given a spirit of fear, but we've been given miracle working power. We've been given love that never fails and a sound mind. Matthew 6, 22. Let's read that together. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye be single, your whole body shall be full of light. Okay? So, when, it said, when you see sound mind, it's singled, single-eyed, focused. You're focused on it. Life in abundance to the full, till it overflows, is your focus. I'm focused on what Jesus has done for me. I'm focused on, on his abundance. I'm focused on getting it so I can give it. If I don't get it myself, how can I give it away? I'm supposed to be a liberal distributor of heaven on earth. 10, 30, Hebrews 10.34 He said, for you had compassion on me and my bonds and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that you have in heaven a better and an enduring substance. Verse 35, cast not away your confidence, therefore. My confidence is in him. Yeah. Or even in your mate. Listen, if God gave you a job, if God gave you the job, then they can't take it away. That's not saying what great recompense of reward is. You got me to what? Verse 36. He says, cast not away therefore your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. Verse 36. For you have need of patience, that after you have done the will of God. Stand on God and wait for him to quit doing it yourself, man. You can't be successful, but God can. It might take you to what? Wait for a while. Develop. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm waiting. You're developing. Now, if I'm not willing to wait, I got trouble. Why? Because I cannot heal myself. I'm in a place where I believe in healing. I believe in God for healing. Do you believe you're healed? And I believe I'm healed on, in, and through. That's the point. Now, what, if I am not willing to wait, I'm in trouble. Patience. Let patience have perfect work. What is that perfect work? You wait till you get done. <laughs> Wait till the manifestation. Well, I do it this way. I'm whole in my soul. That's my goal manifested. Yeah. So what's your goal? What are you what are you believing God for? I want more money. Stand still and believe God. I don't need no money. Give it to somebody else then.
All right, let's go to Matthew 13. You're fine. You're good. You didn't mess me up. So let's take what we've just learned, okay, that we've not been given a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind, and let's apply it to the kingdom, okay? Verse, starting with verse 11. And he answered them and he said, It is given to you, now this is in red, so this is Jesus talking to you. It is given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom. So there are things that are hidden for you, but they're not hidden from you. But to them... The peace and joy. It's the realm of God's authority. The kingdom of heaven is the realm of God's authority. It's his way of doing and being right. Because you don't know what to do right, but he does. Now, how long does it take for him to work in you and through you to do what's right? You know what's right? Ten years ago, Alan, prayer and fasting is right. How long does it take, God? It takes until it's done. Mm -hmm. See, if you're not praying, you ain't moving forward. Amen. You know why? I said some precious uh, lady asked me the other day, she said, what can I do to, to be a blessing to your church? I said, pray. She said, well, how do I pray? I said, pray in the spirit. And she just kind of looked at me like, okay. I said, well, when you're praying in the spirit, God's praying. And he's praying out his perfect will. You know, what we think is great, but what he thinks is the best. Jude 20 and 21. We'll come back to Matthew 13. <laughs> you're all right. Jude 20 and 21. He says, But you, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keeping yourselves in the love of God, and looking... That's right. And looking for the mercy of God, that compassion. You better, you, you better go to prayer it. So what he's... That just takes long, I know. It takes a long time to be right. It's just like when we got the scripture about starting the church. We didn't know what it was. We didn't know. We just know, knew that he'd been chosen to build a house for the sanctuary. Well, how do you build a house for the sanctuary? I don't know. What does that mean? I don't know. But you know who knows? He knows. So you take it. And you take that scripture and you take it to the prayer closet. And you declare that scripture. And then you pray in tongues. And then you declare that scripture and you pray in tongues. And then he'll lead you to another scripture. And then he'll begin to shed light. Remember, when you're, when you're praying in tongues and you're, you're building um, a foundation of faith, what he'll do is he will frame... He'll frame, frame your vision. He'll frame what he's trying to get across to you. And then as you pray it out, then he will fill it in with detail. Compassion. Yeah. If you're not looking for it, you're trying to do it yourself. That's right. And you cannot win. All right, so let's go back to Matthew 13. And he answered and said to them, Matthew 13, 11, It is given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom, but to them it is not given. For whosoever has, to him shall be given. That means what wisdom has, be, has he given to you? What mysteries has he unveiled to you? What scripture, what rhema has he given to you? I know I, I got excited today. Tyler, you posted about that about uh, Jerry Savelle, and uh, you, if you can't steal your joy, it, the rest of that sentence says you can't keep your goods. That was a rhema word that saved our... We were sitting on Kareen and Charles's back porch 
making hamburgers one Sunday after church. We weren't pastors. We had put our, we had taken our last money and put carpet in an apartment complex and and they had called us that week and told us that they were bankrupt and the, the place had foreclosed on them and that we would be real blessed if we got 10 cents on the dollar. Well, if we got 10 cents on the dollar, it was called gurgle, gurgle, gurgle time. We were going under. And so we were sitting on their back porch and we were watching Jerry Savelle on TV and he preached that. And it, w- it went off in us like a firecracker. That's what a rhema word does. It goes, bam. And you know that that was a word from God for you. If he can't steal your joy, Alan and Terry, then he can't steal your goods. And so we held on to that word. We wouldn't let him steal our joy. Every time they would say that, we would just laugh. No, ha, 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 you can't, you can't keep my stuff. And within 30 days, they called us back and said, come get your check. They unforeclosed and unbankrupted. Woohoo! And we got every dime that belonged to us because he couldn't steal our joy. So that was, see, that was one of those mysteries of the kingdom, that rhema word that had been delivered to us. Now your joy is your strength. And we took it. And the point is, the joy of the Lord is stronger than Satan. And he wants you standing in his strength. So you got to stand in joy. So he says, for whosoever has, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. And we did. And we had more confidence when we came through that again, Jesus delivered us. Again, Jesus came through. Again. Yeah. Yeah. But whosoever has not, from him shall be taken away even that which he has. And the word keeps going off in me, take heed what you hear. Take heed what you hear. Because when he speaks to you, if you don't, if you don't um, honor it, if you don't take it as, man, oh man, God just gave us a word. And then if you don't do exactly what he's talking about, meditate in it day and night, day and night, talk about it, put it up there, and hang on to that like a pit bull would hang on to his bone. You don't let it go. You don't let it go. And if you won't, then guess what? He'll deliver you. Amen? Amen. He said, verse 13, Therefore I speak to them in parable, parables, because people out there, even though they have natural eyes, they can't see. And even though they've got natural ears, they can't hear. Neither do they understand. That was verse 13. I'm sorry. Verse 14, But in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which says, By hearing... You shall hear and not understand. And seeing, you'll see and not perceive. But that's not us. That word perceive is critical. See. That's critical. It means perceive means that you see something in front of you. If you don't see this in front of you, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. But he says, those people that don't have the eyes to see and don't have the ears to hear, Their heart has waxed gross or hard. Their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes they've closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their heart, and should be converted and I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes. Say, blessed are my eyes. I got blessed eyes. Empowered to prosper eyes. I can see in the spirit eyes. And my ears. They're blessed too because I hear my father's voice and the voice of another I will not hear. Amen. 
And he said, For verily I say to you, verse 17, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things that you see. They didn't see them. To hear the things which you hear, and they haven't heard them. I just think about, I, go, I just go back to Psyche 16. For revelation. Yeah. If, if Psyche 16, which for those of y'all who haven't been here, that's an asteroid that's worth 10,000 quadrillion dollars. It would make everybody on earth a billion, no, a billionaire if it was mined. If you and I don't have the ears to hear and the eyes to see, a little chunk of that could be in our backyard and we'd never know it. Those little meteorites that crashed together that dropped those, those diamonds in the Sudan, you just walk right past them because they look like a rock. But not when you've got God. I'm just telling you, we're walking into a time when there it goes back to my, my walk on the beach. Terry, there's a treasure trove in front of you. Terry, there's a treasure trove. I'm just telling you, God has hidden riches for us. Hidden riches. Who, kn who knew Psyche 16 was out there? How many more asteroids and, and thingamajiggies are out there? <laughs> I'm just telling you, there are hidden riches and they are everywhere. But if we don't have eyes to see, if we're not tuned in to God and looking, He has provision for us. I, I meant to look up a scripture. Anybody got their um, Laws of Prosperity book on them? You do? He, he, can I borrow it? Thank you. He, he uh, has a scripture in here about that we will suck up the riches. I tried to find it, but I, I couldn't find it. Oh, I am. I think it's right here. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Well, anyway, he was talking about, it's in that chapter that we're in, and he's talking about, oh, nobody can hear me. Nobody can hear me. But he's, he's talking about how there are so many things out there that we don't know about. I mean, I don't know if Psyche 16 has hit you like it's hit me. But I just think, how many other things? All of the riches that Jesus has already made are already here. We don't have to go to heaven to get them. They're all here. Everything that we need to, to succeed, everything that we need to carry out our vision, it's in our prayer language. It's in seeing and hearing. It's in seeing and hearing. It's being willing and obedient to follow his instructions, even when it looks crazy. You know, I was trying to talk to the little guy the other day that we, um, not yet, I'm because I'm talking. Um, but I'll find it and I'll give it to you Sunday night. Anyway, but it was talking about sucking up the riches that are out, out there in the seas somewhere. I couldn't find it. But have you ever tried to explain spiritual things to somebody that's non-spiritual? Have you ever tried to explain to somebody why we're here and not over there? You know, you, they just look at you go, yeah, uh-huh. And then you explain to them that we're going back there. And they go, how? I don't know. So they just think, yeah, they, they just think you're an absolute nut. But you know what? That's okay. Because the day we go back, people who have been scratching their heads and thinking that we're absolutely off our rockers and out of our tree and Looney Tunes and... They're going to go, they're going to really scratch their head on that day. 
they're going to really scratch their head. But, God, but you know what? One thing they will know, there's a God. Jesus is Lord because it's not something we can do. But let me promise you, but let me promise you, God never called you, called you to do anything that's possible. You know that? He never called you to do anything possible. He called you to do the impossible. Was it possible for Peter to walk on the water? No. Did Peter walk on the water? Was it possible for Jesus to raise somebody from the dead? But did he raise somebody from the dead? Was it possible for him to, for, for arms to grow out or legs to grow out? But does it happen? Yes. Yes. Is it possible to take somebody who's been blind forever, like the little guy who was, who was in our church for years? He was blind, blind, blind. Had a seeing eye dog. Had a seeing eye dog and everything. He got healed. Changing a tire. I don't know how you change a tire when you're blind, but he was pretty, pretty good at what he did. And he was feeling it, and he, and he uh, pricked his finger, and the first thing he saw was blood. The blood, the blood. So. No. Well, Father, I just want to thank you that you truly have called us to a higher place, a place of faith, a place where we walk by faith and not by sight, a place where we trust you to do the impossible, a place where we truly will do the works that you did and greater works than these shall we do. I want to thank you, Lord. You declared as long as we go do what we're supposed to do, which is preach and teach the good news of Jesus Christ, you don't have to be sick anymore. You don't have to be poor anymore. You don't have to go to hell anymore. You can be saved. You can be healed. You can be delivered. You can be prospered. You can be totally set free. And as we do that, I want to thank you, Lord. You confirm your word with signs and wonders following everywhere we go. I want to thank you, Lord, that when Miss Carrie opens her mouth to sing, demon spirits flee from her in terror. They sense that anointing and they know exactly what it is and where it came from. I want to thank you, Lord, that as others lay their hands on the sick, huh, total and instant healing. I want to thank you, Lord, as they cast out the devil, they actually can see them fleeing from them in terror. And Father, we just give you praise and honor and glory. Now, thank you, Lord, as we present our tithe and our offering to you. We give you praise, we give you honor, and we give you glory. We give you praise, we give you honor, and we give you glory. Because you are our provider. We look to no man. We look to no government. You are our source. And you are our only source. And Father, we just give you praise and honor and glory that we take the first fruits out of our house, and we bring it to yours, and we thank you for meat on our table. Thank you for wholeness, for soundness, for nothing missing and nothing broken in our home. Thank you that our families are saved, healed, and delivered. Thank you that all of our needs are met according to and based upon your riches and glory. Thank you that we have the mind of Christ. We hear your voice and the voice of another we won't follow. And because of that, we just say, we present our offerings to you. We present our tithe to you. And we say, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' name. Everybody said... Amen. Anybody need an envelope for cash or credit card giving? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Our pastor needs an envelope. Thank you, Miss Pam. Thank you, thank you. Glory to God. Well, I declare over you, and I hope you agree with me, that you are the head. You are not the tail. 
You are above only and you are never beneath. You have been given power over all the works of the enemy and absolutely nothing shall by any means harm you. I want to thank you, Lord, that according to Acts 16.31, not only are they saved, but their entire family, entire household. I want to thank you, Lord, that they are empowered to prosper in everything they do. Everything they set their hand to is empowered to prosper. Now, angels, you do your job and camp round about them and their family to protect and keep them until we meet again Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Amen? Call you abundantly blessed. Have a super-duper week. Amen?